Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in. I'm pretty excited. It is iRacing week 13 and it is iRacing update day for us here down under. And I cannot wait to get my hands on the new Ford Mustang and the Chevrolet Corvette in the GT3 category. I've been looking for something a little more exciting to drive than the Ferrari 296 that we uh, punch around in. So I'm keen to jump into these cars. Let's get into the sim and let's have a go and see what they are like. Sounds fantastic. First thing you notice is just the sound of it. It's um, definitely different to any of the other GTs that are there at the moment. So we get some heat in the tyres as far as the next endurance event that I'm running in. Pretty responsive, so this is obviously just running a baseline setup at the moment. So I imagine the Mustang's probably going to be a lot more about slowing fast out, probably similar to the Mercedes in that respect. Let's see, Let's see what sort of time we can do here. Definitely won't be the quickest you've ever seen.
Alright, let's give it some bones. See what we get. Sounds brilliant. Fair, it's, um, the handling and it's pretty good as well. See, these things are a little bit forgiving, but... It's responsive. I'm probably a little bit apprehensive in it. Just switching from the uh, Ferrari, which is my usual weapon of choice. It's, um, it's definitely a big change. Untidy lap this one. Through there pretty well. Okay, well there you go. So I've driven both cars at Spa and the big question is, what do I think? Um, the Corvette, if you're driving uh, the Ferrari or the McLaren at the moment, you will absolutely love the Corvette. Easy to drive, uh, very compliant car and uh, good with the throttle control as well. So uh, very impressive on a baseline setup. 
and uh, I think that one's going to be a popular choice. But for me, the big surprise was the Mustang. I was expecting that to be, to be honest, a little bit of a pig in anything other than a straight line, and uh, it was anything but that. So it took me a lap or two to get used to it, obviously coming from uh, the Ferrari, which is a totally different car to drive. You're jumping into it from the Mercedes. I think you're going to find it very, very familiar. The engine note on it's awesome, which doesn't make it a fast car, but certainly makes it uh, very fun to listen to while you're hammering it around Spa. So I was very impressed with it. I actually did more laps in the Mustang than I did in the uh, in the Vet. I enjoyed it that much uh, and went quicker in it on a baseline time as well. Uh, got to play around a little bit, obviously, with the uh, field of view and settings there because uh, it's not a uh, thing that I did tonight just to jump in and have some fun in it. But I think that if you were to ask me which one should you spend your money on, I'd probably go with the Mustang. Um, I think the Corvette's very similar to a couple of the other cars that are out there now. And if you're looking for something fun to drive, uh, I would definitely be, uh, be jumping in that Mustang and having a crack at it. I do want to do a little bit more testing with the Mustang on uh, tighter, narrower tracks. I think that's probably where it's going to lose out to the Corvette, um, just in the makeup of the car as well. But again, not too different, I imagine, to the Mercedes from the driving that I've done in that. Uh, we're on those more technical, narrow tracks. Uh, it, it's going to be a little bit more difficult to get it to go quick. Somewhere like Winton, which is probably not a great example of a narrow track, but I think of uh, particularly up during in the cleavage at Winton, um, they're going to struggle against uh, the more balanced uh, Corvette option. So uh, where do you where do you whack your money? For mine, uh, jump on the Mustang and have a crack at it. I think you'll like it. And uh, certainly one I'm going to spend a bit more time in across the next season as we get into it. So look, I hope you've enjoyed this video and uh, I hope it's helped you uh, make a decision which way you might go. You probably do what I did anyway and just buy both of them so that you've got both uh, as an option a little sway for cash then jump on to that mustang and uh, have a crack at it at my opinion and uh, let me know in the comments which was your favorite why and uh, which one did you end up uh, jumping on to have a crack at neither of them maybe maybe you're stuck with uh, something that you've already got on the platform so uh, thanks for watching and uh, i'll look forward to catching up with you again soon